Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch Sengoku Dynasty game on your Windows computer or if you're facing crashing and freezing issue. Now the first step is to, now when you launch the game for the first time, it is taking time. So after you launch the game, just wait for a few minutes. So in my case, it took around 10 to 15 minutes to launch the game. So just wait for some time when you launch the game and you should be able to play. The next step is to restart Steam. So simply exit and then restart Steam. If there is any update, let the update complete and then launch the game. Next step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, try launching the game. Now the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So make a right click and then select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then check if that does not work you can try dash dx12 and then launch the game if nothing works remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local file it will take you to the game installation folder here you can see the game exe file make a right click and then select properties and then go to compatibility and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok make a double click over here and try to launch the game from here still you are facing the problem then open this folder binary is win64 now over here you also you will find the game exe file make a right click then select properties go to compatibility once again and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator now click on apply and then click on OK. Make a double click and try, on, try to launch the game. Still you are facing the problem. In that case you can go back and this time make a right click. Select properties. Go to compatibility and this time put a check on the box which says run this program in compatibility mode for select Windows 8. Click on apply and then launch the game. If that does not work then you can even select Windows 7 from the list and then click on apply. Click on OK. Long, now launch the game. Still you are facing the problem. Do the same thing with this exe file. Make a right click, select properties and then put a check on the box over here and then select Windows 8. Click on apply, launch the game. If that does not work, you can even go for Windows 7 and then click on apply, click on OK and then launch the game. Now still you are not able to launch the game. Still you are facing the problem in that case. This time uncheck all the boxes uncheck both the boxes click on apply click on ok and then go back and do the same thing with this exe file uncheck both the boxes over here and then click on apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game file so make a right click on the game select properties go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game now the next step is to delete the save game file. Now before you delete the save game file, let me inform you. This will result in loss of game progress. You will lose everything. You have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, delete the save game file for this open file explorer. Go to this PC, open C drive, open users folder, now open your username folder. Now open app data folder. If you don't see app data on the top, click on view and then put a check on the box with save hidden items. Put a check over here and you should be able to see app data, open app data folder. If you have Windows 11, somewhere over here you will find the view option, click on view. At the bottom you will find show, select show and then put a check on hidden items, you should be able to see app data. Open app data folder, open the local folder. Now over here you can see Sengoku dynasty folder, make a right click and then click on delete. After this is deleted, now launch the game. Next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, make sure that you allow the game exe file to antivirus program. If you're using Windows security, open Windows settings and then go to update and security. If you have Windows 10, if you have Windows 11, click on privacy and security. On, in the left hand side in Windows 11, you will find privacy and security. Click on privacy, privacy and security, then click on Windows security. In Windows 10, click on update and security, Windows security, virus and threat protection. Scroll down and then you will find manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Now click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. If the game is installed in C drive, open C drive program files x86. 
steam folder steam apps folder now open the common folder over here you will find the game folder in my case it's in different right open steam steam apps common and then open the game folder select this exe file now click on open again I click on add and allowed app now browse all apps this time open this folder binary is win64 select this exe file now click on open once the game is added over here type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel on system and security now click on windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top now allow another app now click on browse and then again open the game folder select this exe file now click on open click on add in my case the game is already added now click on browse once again open this folder and then select this exe file now click on open once the game is added click on add over here once the game is added over here now click on ok and then launch the game now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website now over here select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 and then click on start search now once this is done now scroll down and the latest one right now the latest geforce game ready driver is 536 period 99 click on get download and then click on download now and let the download complete now once the download is complete run this exe file now once you run exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation so put a check over here and then click on next and after the clean installation restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to roll back graphics driver to previous version so you can roll back to the previous version so again go to nvidia website and then again you have to select the right graphic card over here make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 click on start search now scroll down the latest one right now is 536 period 99 you can try 536 period 67 or maybe 536 period 40 so you can whenever you roll back the graphic driver after you download it when you run the exe file during the installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then after the clean installation restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to disconnect additional controller connected to the computer try launching the game on single monitor so disconnect multiple monitor disconnect all the external devices which you are not using disconnect also disable steam overlay for this make a right click select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game also close all the overlay application so if you have overlay turned on in discord turn it off if you have overlay in geforce experience turn it off so close all the overlay application also close all the over clocking applications so if you have msi afterburner running close it if you have reward tuner running close it also if you have these software running in task manager close this software make sure only the steam and the game is running rest close everything including all your browsers and then launch the game now also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game also perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services put a check over here and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out I already did it in your case this would be highlighted so put a check on hide all microsoft services then click on disable all then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart in computer and then launch the game next step is to if you are able to launch the game switch to window mode and lower down graphics settings so if you are able to launch the game launch the game first go to settings then go to video now if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more now set it to window mode 
now disable vsync set the maximum maximum fps at 60 disable and keep this at low and over here if all the settings are set to epic you can try high you can even go for medium you can even go for low for now i have selected these to low now apply the settings and then check the performance now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder once again open the game folder select this exe file now click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse open this folder my name is win64 select this exe file now click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now, click on save. now launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory for this type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings now click on the first settings and then go to the advanced tab and then click on change by default automatically manage paging file would be selected over here uncheck this box and then select the drive where the game is installed and then put a check on custom size and then for me this is working initial size is 1.5 into total ram now check the total ram in your computer so you can open windows settings go to system and then go to about and then over here you can see the total ram in my case it's 8 gigabytes so it might be 16 in your case so in my case it's 8 gigabyte now you have to convert 8 gigabyte into megabyte for this you open calculator on your computer and in my case total ram is 8 gigabyte we have to convert this to megabyte into 102 1024 that is 8192 megabyte so total ram as per 8 gigabyte in megabyte is 8192 for me so initial size is 1.5 into total ram that is this is the total ram into 1.5 that is 12288 and maximum size for me it's 3 into total ram now total ram is 8192 in megabyte into 3 so for me it's 24576 enter the numbers over here then click on set click on ok click on ok and then click on apply ok ok now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in the browser it will take you to microsoft website Scroll down over here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22 download x86 and then download x64 and then run both the exe file. So run both x86 and x64, click on repair, if you see the repair option, if you see the install option, click on install. In my case, I have already installed. Run the second file as well. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair, if you see the install option, click on install. In my case, I have already installed both the file once this is done click on restart make sure that you're restarting it there and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to update your windows to the latest version for this open windows settings go to update and security or windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can simply uninstall the game and after the uninstall Go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then reinstall the game to different drive. So if you have another SSD or HDD, try installing the game to different drive and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.